The confession of IPOP members after clash with security agents in Enugu. Three members of the five suspected members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, who were paraded yesterday in Enugu by the State Commissioner of Police, CP Amadou Abdurrahman, confessed being member of the prescribed organization but denied attacking the security operatives. The Wurisla reported on Sunday that four persons, including two operatives of the Department of State Security, were reportedly killed in the clash, which took place at MNE Enugu when the security operatives intercepted over 500 IPOP members, said to be receiving training in Matia Arts. In an interview with newsmen, one of the suspects, Obina Emele, who claimed he was not aware of the training, although a member said, I was going to buy food and feed for my pigs when I met the commotion. Then I ran back. I met a woman living opposite my house. The children told me to call their father and inform him not to return home today, Sunday, because he traveled to a boy state. Why there, the two persons who were undergoing the training ran to the spot. They were being pursued by the police. Why there, I got arrested. I am a member of IPOP. Quite right, but unaware of the training they were doing. I am not part of it. And that suspect, Ebube Ago, from Ohan Diago community in Eziago local government area of Enugu State, said, I don't have any Odieshi. I don't have any chance. Our training is on martial arts. We were being taught mm -hmm. self-defense. We don't carry any weapon. We were being trained by the IPOP CSO of Enugu State. Mm -hmm. One Mr. Emenike, we have been undergoing this training for more than one month. We don't have any sponsor. I'm not sure about the arrest of any DSS official because I was at the back of orders. Since we started doing it, no security had attacked us. So why training today, Sunday, I started to hear gunshots. We began to run. I was surprised. We stampered for safety. I ran to a building and begged them to assist me. I am aware that IPOP is banned, but I know the matter is still in court. Another member from OPI in Nsuka local government area of Enugu State said, We have been training every morning. Shortly, we saw some policemen and they started shooting. I ran into a building and hide myself under the step. In our trainings, we ran around the field about 20 times and then do some other exercises. We don't handle weapons. We were doing Kung Fu. We were doing it to defend ourselves. Meanwhile, the spokesperson of IPOP, Emma Powerful, says 21 members of the group were killed in the clash. According to a statement he issued, the Nigerian government and her security agencies have once again exhibited another crude round of killing and massacre against the peaceful and unarmed IPOP family members in Enugu State. We are surprised how Nigerian security agencies in their respective formation, like Army Police and DSS, will be slaughtering our people without any provocation. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, day after day, night after night, Nigerian police and DSS will keep denying 
of these facts that they have always been the one attacking the hypo they will keep denying it just to please the president they have told them that anywhere they see the gathering of hypo that they should go there and destruct it and make sure that it doesn't hold hmm. my viewers you can see why the ipops are saying that they are not safe in this country you can see why they said they are not safe when an ipop member is agitating for biafran republic one Igbo leader who knows nothing concerning this country will be agitating for one Nigeria. What a disgrace and a complete disappointment. Believe you me, I'm totally disappointed in this that has just happened. You see, our Igbo leaders are the ones causing all of these that we are passing through. If only they have given us a support, if only their support has been merged to the little one that we have had, we would have been able to achieve this republic for a very long time. But because of their greed, their selfishness and their wickedness, because they always want everything to themselves. That is why they have refused to give Indigo that maximum support. Hmm. What a wicked world. Well, their friends are not seeking for their support any longer. Because they have gotten enough hands and enough support. They can keep their support to themselves. Because Biafran is already making a headway so my viewers what's your take on this news please don't hesitate to leave your comment behind click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive more updates thank you